hi. So you know what's great? Helping parents with technology. Because when you solve something like this, I just can't get any sound to happen. Your speakers aren't on. They flip out and it's like you're a fucking rock star. So all you need to do is turn on your speakers. Oh How did you do that? Oh, I just turned on your you speakers. You are a genius. No, it's really... You, you are a genius. Yeah. To be fair though, that's kind of how I am when someone helps me open a jar. Ah, there we go. Oh, thank you, you saved my life. It's okay, it's just peanut butter. No, seriously, you saved my life. Please don't shoot me, here's the peanut butter. Yummy! But the difference is that I genuinely think older people hear something different when you talk to them about technology. So if I say, so this is a computer, they hear, this is a fucking time machine. It's just fucking crazy and you'll never understand it. So when I say something like, now make sure you don't download viruses, they hear, download viruses. And then the offensive thing, of course, is then when something goes wrong with their computer, they try and blame you. Well, it was working fine before you hopped on here. Did you download a virus? Me? You old people fucking love clicking on pop-up ads. Oh, a pop-up ad. Click that. And it's like you go out there trying to find viruses to download. Oh, a virus. I should download that. Because I'm an old person. I love viruses. Nah, see, I'm joking when I make fun of older people because when young kids talk to me these days, I've got no idea what they're saying. I mean, I should probably do it, right? YOLO. Who's YOLO? SMH, Nat. SMH. Hashtag hilarious. Yeah, I had to look up YOLO like a loser. See, back in my day, the cool cat said, You haven't seen this? Are you for cereal? Man, that was a great time. At the same time, it was cool to say not at the end of everything. Yeah, you could play with my Tarzos. Not! Easily impressed. Another good thing about helping out older people, they're so easily impressed. What is that noise? It's your mobile phone ringing. Clever girl! And you know, then they go and tell their friends how great you are. You should get her to look at your phone. She is a genius. Is that so? It's what they say. Yeah, that's right. I am to parents what newspapers are to homeless people. The solution to everything. And on that horribly insensitive note, make sure you check out Comedy Week. It's happening on YouTube at the moment. A big focus on comedy, a lot of fun videos coming out. People are also making playlists. I'm making one as well of some of the videos that I've enjoyed and hopefully you enjoy them as well. In the meantime though, don't forget to thumb me and let me know what has been one of the easiest solutions you've ever solved for an old person when it comes to technology. And I will see you guys in a week. Bye. Are you for cereal? Yeah, I used to say that all the time. And I used to wear hats like this because Alex Mack wore her hats like this. Okay, it's porno music slash comment time, and thank you for telling me your minibar stories, guys. Apart from this $12 Powerade story, most of them were incredibly non-adventurous, and I have concluded that all of you are pretty much tight asses as well. I did, however, like hearing about the common practice of eating things from the minibar and then replacing them later with things you buy. How cheap is that? And thank you. I had to stick it on my face with sticky tape because I don't know how rich people keep these monocles up, but that's how I roll. I tape shit to my face. Yeah, put that quote on my grave.